Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'll show you how to defeat the Bloodhound Knight at the Forlorn Hound Everjail. If you want to be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. I'll just show you on the map real quick where this Everjail is located. So it's located here, just south of this site of grace. When you're ready, jump on in, and you've got as much time as you want to to use your buffs and things like that. So we're going to use our flask, which gives us increased stamina regen. And then we'll jump into it. We'll be using double swords and also sword and shield. You do get some free attacks at the start of the fight. If you want to get to swinging your weapon about. And the shield that we're using is the kite shield, which is 100% physical damage negation. Uh, so what we can do is use the shield and then use the guard counter. Uh, usually guard counter is best at the end of one of his combos. Because his combos are pretty crazy. It start to go... Uh, he starts to go pretty wild. With some of the combos that he does. So when you can see a uh, sort of opening towards the end of one of his combos, you can use the guard counter then. Uh, just be careful of the uh, bleed buildup that happens in this fight. He always follows that uh, sort of claw attack with a sword attack. So he'll jump up uh, into the air and then he'll kind of like bring his sword down uh, to the ground. So just watch out for that. So with this one, just play it safe. Whip out the old shield, use those guard counters, usually at the end of one of his combos. You can also go for double swords as well if you're feeling extra spicy. And uh, once you learn his combos and his, uh, his moveset and stuff like that, this is the one where he's going to jump up. He's always going to jump up and then uh, follow that with a sword strike down. So just watch out for that. Here we go again. You can use that time to punish just here. Usually rests on the floor for a good few seconds. After the jump. Uh, if you want to heal up, try and get some space. And uh, pop your flasks and stuff like that. Just be careful because he's got a few gap closes. So if you're only like a medium distance away, he'll try and close the gap. And he'll try and knock you out of healing. Uh, so if you do want to heal, make sure you've got a really good distance between you and the enemy before you start popping your flasks. Otherwise you'll be in trouble. Uh, other than that, just keep on guard countering and uh, you should be good to go. That's the fight. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. If it did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. You can check out all the other content that I make at azavar.com. The link is down in the pinned comments. That's azavar.com. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.